In this video, we will be going over the software of the Manhattan LCD HD5 monitor. It's important to note that the features demonstrated in this video also apply to the HD089B, HD089C, and HD071A monitors. First step is to turn the monitor on. We can do that with the supplied remote, or you can just simply press the power button on the monitor. We'll see the monitor power up, and then we can go into the menu system. When we hit the menu, we'll see the first option is the picture style adjustment. And the first option in that is changing your presets, which we'll discuss in a separate video. But then we have options for changing the brightness, contrast, color, tint, sharpness, gamma, and color temperature of the monitor. This allows you to calibrate the monitor for a specific coloring if you're receiving a different image than displays on your camera. We're going to be using the remote control for these next changes, uh, but the next setting is the image adjust for uh, changing dis different aspect ratios. First option is fill all, which has a tendency to fill the entire screen with whatever image is being sent to it. Um, and if you're using a camera like the 5D Mark II, 60D, or cameras that send a standard F image when recording, um, there's going to be an additional option for you that's called DSLR record. And if you remove all the info settings, you'll see that it'll fill the screen. And when we hit record, the screen doesn't fall off. And now you're actually receiving a proper 16.9 signal. So this is great for DSLR recording when you want to see the full screen. And you can take advantage of the sharpness of the monitor for that. Now for playback of your video recording, the DSLR record has a tendency to zoom in a little too far. As we see here, we go into the playback option. It's zoomed in a little too far. So if we go in and we change this to DSLR playback, now again we have the proper 16.9 of the image, and when we play back the video, we will have proper resolution. Now in addition to the DSLR playback option for the 5D and standard F DSLR recordings, you can also use the 7D option which maintains an HD output or the camera like the 1D Mark IV which also maintains an HD output while recording. Plus there's a option for red, uh, 2.35 to 1, 1.85 to 1, 16.9, and 4.3. And in addition to that, there is a one-to-one -one option that goes pixel for pixel. Since the Manhattan LCD is not a 1080p, it is a 768 monitor, uh, a 1080p signal tends to zoom in a little bit farther. So if you need to see the definition a little bit closer, that allows you to see that. In addition to the default presets, Manhattan LCD provides you several customization options for getting the proper image on your monitor. There is an overscan option which allows you to zoom in or zoom out depending on whether you need to remove uh, any additional pixels that are on the edge of the frame. There is a freeze frame option which allows you to capture a very specific frame if you want to show that back to a client or be able to see something and move it away from the camera. And then there's a custom scale option which allows you additional control, everything from horizontal positioning, horizontal side, vertical positioning, and vertical size. So this provides you uh, additional control if you aren't able to receive the image that you're looking for default in one of those default presets, you can customize it to your liking. Next option is the setup menu, and as we go in there, there's the first option for picture in picture, which gives you multiple options. We can receive the standard window layout, which is just one image. There is a windowed layout, which allows you to have uh, multiple images showing at the same time. And then there's the side by side, which allows you to have the same size image shown on the same screen. Next we have options for language control, transparency of the menu, timeout of the menu, and sleep timer of the monitor. This allows you to auto power off the monitor if necessary. In the advanced controls, we have the blue gun option, which can be used for color calibrating the monitor. False color, which allows you the option of being able to use a different color spectrum for setting proper exposure. Focus assist, which provides an outline of the image and can assist you in proper critical focusing. Color bars for calibrating again your monitor and monochrome if you wish to have a black and white image for additional focus assist. There's also an HDMI color space option which allows you to change the color spacing depending on if you have a different than standard HDMI signal sending to your monitor. Lastly we have the guides control and first option is aspect guides. This provides you the option of setting a 4.3, 16.9, 
uh, 1.85 to 1 or 2.35 to 1 aspect guides. We can also select whether it shows up as a line, as a half transparent black bar or solid black bar. And then you can also select the percentage of safe zone for either giving yourself a little bit of overscan or underscan. There's also a screen marker control which allows you to set screen markers for 4.3 or 16.9 safe zone. And this provides you the option of both uh, title safe and action safe. For more information, visit ManhattanLCD.com.